What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. This is the first duck hunt of 2022 season. There we go, right there. Oh, oh. What? Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cast and blast, baby. So I got like two minutes of shooting light. Super simple hunt. I got like a dozen decoys. Water level so low, so I just, I walked it in, chucked them out there. I got my waders on so I can collect ducks. Anyway, I got a bunch of ducks coming in right now. I got one, I got one duck sitting on my spread right now. I just had a group of like 30 trying to fly in. So there are ducks on the move. It's like 55 degrees. Season has been open now for like three days. Fresh ducks. Pretty windy out this morning too, which should help. But anyway, solo hunt, Southwest Kansas. Let's do it, baby. I got two minutes. Two minutes. Plenty of breeze, so my little ducks are, my decoys are moving around. Oh shoot, right there, right there. We got one minute. Oh my gosh. Light them up, boys. Ah! Hoo! Hoo, hoo! Oh, they are not scared of me. Come on, duck. That duck is not scared of me. Got it that time. Wow. Learn to shoot, bud. Oh yeah, now they're flying around. Now they're flying around. I'll leave him lay for a second, see if anything flies over. Yeah, baby. First duck, 2022. Here comes a big group. I gotta go get that duck. Yeah, I gotta go get that duck. Wait. Okay. Let's go get him. What do we got? Ooh, widgeon. Nice, ooh, a little teal, green teal. I think this other one's a teal also. Where is she? Well, pretty awesome. First hunt of the year. It's, I'm definitely not freezing, sweating to death. It's warm out here, three ducks already. It took me like 10 minutes to get ready last night. A Little bit of a walk here this morning. Threw out 12 decoys in a mojo, like no blind. Like hardly any setup. Gotta do some shooting. Hopefully we can get another big group in here. That was terrible shooting, folks. Hey, welcome to No Coast Angling, where we're gonna give you a clinic and terrible shooting. What's really sad is I didn't even put a bead on them. Knee jerk reaction because I'm literally over here trying to take a picture, you know, get get a nice little thumbnail or Instagram photo. I got two ducks coming in hot. I freak out, have to turn on the camera, grab my shotgun, engage the shot cam, take it off safe. You know, just go into a panic and shoot like an idiot. So I feel like I shot over them five feet. Let's just focus on the hunting now, okay? The only problem with the spot is I'm very limited. 
I got all these trees around me. I'm very limited to what I can see. I can literally only see right out in front of me, so I can't see if anything is coming from the sides or circling up behind me. Obviously, all the leaves are on the trees still, so, I mean, they are barely turning right now. I bet some of you uh, duck hunters out there love my duck calling, huh? Yeah, I should probably practice and learn and do all that. Well, the official sunrise was one minute ago. Sun will be coming up over that hill here before too long, and it will drastically change the atmosphere and appearance of this lake. Sure would like to get a couple more. I could take them right there, but I mean, they're just chilling. I was hoping they would like, I feel like live ducks attract live ducks better than any decoy ever does. So I just was kind of letting them chill out to see if they would bring in some bigger ducks. There they go. I didn't like something. They don't know how close they came to being killed. Just finished a little trip. We're supposed to go to South Dakota, drive all the way up northeast, fish some smallmouth for four days, got halfway there, and the other axle on my boat trailer come apart. Man, that was, that was rough. Took a hard right turn, drove it all the way to Kansas City, took it back to Cabela's, they're saying like 48 weeks. It was kind of like South Dakota was my last ditch effort to have a little fishing trip this year. But anyway. Well, I'm not seeing any ducks out there anywhere. And we need some rain. I haven't seen anything in the air for a little while. So I brought a fishing rod <laughs> i figured since it's nice out i got a little saucy swimmer on there i figured i'd do a little casting and blasting and uh go out there just wait out there a little bit and see if i can catch a bass uh on the same day that i shot some ducks so anyway i'm gonna do that see what happens Ducks right here. Oh my gosh, they're gonna land on me. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Cast and blast, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And this fish. <gasps> Here they come again. Two. What? He's running. Cast and blast, baby. Oh, what the heck? I gotta deal with this fish. Oh my gosh. Well, I got two ducks out there a little further than I wanted to be. This bass. Still good. There. All right, buddy. There you go. There she goes. She's good. Let's see if I can retrieve these ducks. Oh. oh, wow. Awesome. That stupid dog. Go on. Yeah. 
get. Uh, need to work out. Two more. Well, let's recap what just happened there. <sighs> I am tired. So I'm casting, I hook a bass, and then I see this group of like eight or nine big ducks and they literally were like gonna try to land on top of my spread while I'm standing in the water uh, reeling in a bass. So I very quickly come over here. I've got the bass on, I mean, you guys saw it. I grabbed my shotgun as they're circling, they come flying in again. I shoot, knock down two of them, take them out. And then I knocked them down a little further out than I wanted to out there, kind of in the middle, which, you know. So I'm walking out there to get them, and then that stupid farmer's dog, he's just sitting over there waiting for me to shoot again. It's where I'm racing, it's a race to get to the ducks. Me against this dog out there. I got water up to my nipples. Wait a second. Can I say nipple on YouTube? I got water up to my shotgun shells. And I'm like hoofing it, trying to beat that dog to get to these ducks. Anyway, I beat him. Yeah, that was awesome. Cast and blast, baby. Oh my gosh, same day. Shoot ducks, catch bass. My favorite little lake here. What could be better than this? Wow. That was just wild. Just wild. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Ugh. Well, I think I'm gonna go back out there and throw a few casts, huh? See what happens. Well, I think I'm gonna get these guys picked up. Get my stuff loaded up in my cart there in the trees. Head back to the other end and I might wait out and uh, throw a few more casts on that end. No more ducks in the air. I'm not really seeing anything happen. So I'm gonna give it a try. Just so you guys can kind of see what I got here. It's this little pole cart. It's like a, I don't know, a catch all or like, oh, it's a country tough. And I can't remember if I got it at Orschlands or Tractor Supply. But anyway, I mean, I could get 24, 36 decoys in here. I just got the 12 and then my bag, shotgun, um, good little cart. I used to just take my little dinghy and start at that end and then go across and would go all the way down, but the water level is so low. Normally the water would be up in here. But now um, the water's so far down on that side of the trees, I can actually sit in this tree line and so there's really no need to take the boat out, especially since the water's not deep enough for me to have to use it to go retrieve ducks. I can just walk out there. So anyway, it worked out really nice. I'm gonna hoof it to the other end. We'll throw a few more casts, see what happens. Okay, well, I am still burning up, so I really don't wanna put those waders back on because they are, they're meant for really cold weather. Figured this might be a kind of a cool little spot right here. Off of these bluffs, I think I can get pretty close. Oh yeah. It's so crazy. I would literally be underwater normally. Like, <sighs> water level, come on. No bueno. There we go, right there. Oh, feels like a pretty decent fish too. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, get up here. What the heck? That is a decent fish. First cast, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Cast and blast, let's go. Oh my gosh. Freaking awesome. I gotta get a picture. 
guys. Oh, this is, what the heck? This is awesome. There she goes. Oh yeah, nice strong kick. She is healthy, I like the color. I just soaked my shoes, but what the heck? <sighs> All right, let's do it again. Do it again. First cast over here. There we go, there's one. Come on, yes. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Ooh, got a color on this guy. Well, I tell you what, Lenny, if we were living off the fat of the land, we would be eating good tonight. Look at that. All right, five ducks, three bass. Whew. There we go, this one feels good. This one feels good. Man, just when you think this video is over, oh, it's, stay down, stay down. This feels like a good fish. This feels like a really good fish. Stay down. Yeah, that's, this is a good one. This is a good one. Get up here, get up here. Yes! <laughs> Getting a workout this morning. Wow, look at that, good thick fish. We're doing some fall eating out here. Heck yeah. All right, dude. Oh my gosh, so awesome. So awesome. There we go. There we go. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Up, up, up. Yeehaw! There we go. Another nice one. I think that makes five. That's five ducks and five largies. I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. Beautiful fall day, hunting and fishing, Southwest Kansas. She is ready to go. There she goes. All right, well, I made it back to the house. What an amazing first duck hunt for 2022. That was awesome. That was so much better than I expected. And I tell you, it's it comes at such a great time because this whole like South Dakota trip and my trailer on my, my boat, my trailer falling apart and all of that, that was a bummer. So to get home yesterday and then just going right out this morning, five ducks in the bag, and then being able to just throw a few casts um, I think I caught five or six there. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, it was awesome. It was such a great morning. So, Southwest Kansas providing awesome hunting and awesome fishing as usual. Totally awesome morning. So excited to get back out there. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We sure appreciate it. And um, I will see you on the next adventure. Be blessed.